So you're thinking of moving to Edmond, Oklahoma, or maybe just somewhere in Oklahoma, and you're wondering when is the best time to move? My name is Kinsley Hauser and I'm a local realtor in Edmond, Oklahoma and its surrounding areas. Whether you're thinking about moving in 10 days or 10 months, I would love to be able to connect with you and potentially help you on your move. I love getting to work with people every single day and helping them find their Oklahoma homes. Feel free to reach out to me. You can give me a call, text, you can send me an email or a DM or schedule a Google Meet and I would love again just to be able to connect with you and talk through your move. So like I said, in this video, I'm going to be talking about when is the best time to move to Oklahoma? I specifically work in the Oklahoma City Edmond metro area and as I'm kind of looking at some of the statistics as I'm looking at our MLS and trying to figure out when really makes the most sense. It is very very common when I talk to people especially early springtime they tell me hey we want to move but we want to wait until the summer so we want to kind of start looking around majority of people I work with want to move in the summer. There's a couple of reasons why. First one is schools. They might have kids. They're trying to time it right when their kids in school where they're moving from. That way they can move in the summer and not have to move their kids in the middle of the school year. Also, sometimes jobs and just the way it works out, it kind of works out better where jobs are able to move in the summer. Third is the warmer weather probably less chances of having severe weather and so it just makes a lot of sense for people when there's decent weather. It might be hot, but it's not super cold and probably less likely of severe weather threats. And when I'm again looking at the statistics with our MLS, May and June saw the most closed sales versus you know January, February, March. May and June kind of are the top two months of closed sales which kind of means that people are starting to look early spring. And so kind of with that information, what then would be the best time to move? Well, as I look at the data, kind of see a rise and a fall. So from January, at least based off of last year, from January up until May, you see an increase for the most part. It kind of dips in April. I'm thinking that might've been because of Easter last year, you know, maybe holidays, spring break, people aren't moving in that time period, but we kind of see it increasing. May and June, again, kind of are the peak of that. And then as it goes to the fall down to winter, it begins to decrease. And so as you're looking at each season, each season is different. When you have spring, you're gonna be getting into warmer weather, but you're also gonna have the chance of inclement weather. Fall, again, can be pretty hot, might be starting to cool off, but again, you kind of have that chance of inclement weather. Winter is pretty cold, it can be. This past year, we had a pretty mild winter, but the year before that, it was pretty cold. And so winter is kind of a toss up, could be really cold, could be icy, could have snow, depending on when you are looking to move. Um, and so summer makes the most sense for a lot of people, for the weather, also again, for school and just timing with their family. My opinion, if those factors you know, aren't in play, if you don't have kids or not necessarily worried about switching in the summer and it's okay if they switch in the school year, or again, you don't have kids, your job is flexible, whatever the case, I'm thinking, okay, what would then make the most sense for people in the market and potentially having more room to negotiate and in inventory? And so I think that the best time to move is fall. When you're looking at the data, the fall time is when it starts to decrease. Again, like I said, May and June is when we see the most closed sales. And so springtime, a lot of that competition's happening. In the fall time, your competition is decreasing. The most people have bought their house and now we're starting to see a downward slope. And so to me, that would be a good time to get in the market. There's less people in the market, but also what you might think, and it's kind of flipped, is that your inventory actually increases. So when you look at the month supply of houses, again, kind of from that June, it actually starts going up. And so your, your inventory increases, but your competition decreases. I think fall time again, you might can get into some cooler weather. But overall, I think the fall time is a good time to move. Last year, looking at people of clients of mine in the fall, you know, we were able to get houses that they liked. We were able to negotiate a little bit, not guaranteed. Again, it depends on the house and the price and everything else that's going on in the world. But I really do feel like fall time is a solid time to move. Now, of course, not everybody can move in fall. Some people need to move in spring. Some people need to move in winter. I would say winter is the least busy time for the market, especially around Christmas, January, February. This year, I feel like when the new year started, we started seeing more business, but generally speaking, the winter time is the least busy. For some people, this might be the best time for you because it means there's very little competition 
again, doesn't mean there couldn't be, but for the most part, there's gonna be less in winter than probably you're gonna see other times of the year. But I work with people and they have to move in the spring. They have to move in the summer and I help them. And we are able to find houses that they like. We're able to sometimes be able to negotiate and that's one thing that I love providing that service and really trying to figure out how can I help my clients get the best deal, find the best house that fits their needs. And that's just what I love to do. If you have questions about any of this, if you're thinking about moving and you want to try to figure out timeline, if you're thinking, you know, we need to move by this date, when should we start looking? When should we start talking to you? Go ahead and just send me a text, give me a call. I'd love to talk through some of those details with you. And thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and I'll catch you in my next one.